Hi everyone, welcome to our new series of webinar. During these next sessions, we will be taking a look at our Wisecout platform and how to get the most profit out of it and become more efficient on our recruitment and daily workflows. Wisecout is a platform that hosts video and data from teams and players from all across the globe. But it also has tagged games, data, and reports. You can access loads of different tools that we'll be getting across all around this webinar. Hope you have a great time as I had preparing it. Before starting our webinar, I would like to talk a bit about myself. I'm Nacho Yamia. I'm working as an implementation consultant for Hado. I joined Hado uh, almost a year ago as a support specialist and then transitioned into implementation consultant. Our daily job is to improve uh, workflows and train our customers to get uh, more efficiency out of uh, our suite of products. And uh, before joining Hado, I used to work as a football analyst for clubs in Spain, such as Elche. I hope you you like this meeting and enjoy. Let me continue with our agenda for the day. We'll start by introducing the Wisecout platform, which I like to talk about as the command center for Wisecout. Then we'll get into tools and what they, they are. We will then continue with reports and finish with our scouting area, penalties, and set pieces up. Let's start our webinar with the platform. I like to call our platform the command center of Wisecout. This is going to allow us to select any country we want to analyze. We could search all the different countries, international competitions, or player agencies. We could also type a player's name or a team and search for their events, their clips, their best uh, actions or goals, for example. When it comes to tools, you can access them via the logo on the top center of your screen. From here, you can access either the platform, as we spoke before, dashboards, advanced search, rankings, or such as penalties app or set pieces app. We will take a look at every different tool all along our webinar. We can't speak about Wisecout without speaking about its video library. You can create your playlists from teams and player events. You can record any personal clips that you find interesting for any of your players or your staff. You can anticipate and extend video in, in different moments if you need it and use drawing tools in order to do everything from your Wisecout tool. We must remember that we have the widest coverage in the market and that we cover more than 600 competitions worldwide. This is the page you will get if you have not logged in. Let's log in and take a look. Once we log in, we'll get to the platform as we spoke before. We can either choose a country over here or type a team. For example, I'm gonna type Daegu from Korea. I would be able to select players who are related to that team or the team I want to take a look. Let's take a look at this way. I could go to Korea, Korea First League, and then Daegu. I could either select any player I would like to, take a look at their positions, their heat map, their appearances, previous matches, and I would be able to access any playlist I would like. I could also take a look at full games he has played and watch them, either their events, view the highlights and the effective time or video, but I could also get, go to the events done by the player. If we go back to the team's page, 
I could also do the same procedure, but with our team. For example, we can take a look at goals conceded. Let's take a look. We can take a look, watch, and select. Okay. For example, if we would like to use these ones for a short video and select three or four videos, okay, we could easily select it all or unselect them all. We could also download the selected clips or add the selected clips to a new one. Test Diego, for example. We could save them and have them ready for a video I would like to get ready. If we go back to a certain goal, for example, considered, and we would like to get some seconds before, you'll see that when I click on this little button, we will be able to make the clip longer by 10 seconds. This will get us 10 seconds before, and this one will get us 10 seconds after, okay? So for example, if we would like to add some more video to our playlist, we could easily select them. If I wanted first three, click on export, and I could add, add them to the same playlist. If I come here, I get to my play playlist. Remember to the downloads folder. I can see that I now have seven clips on my folder. First four I selected on goals conceded and the three of them on goals made. If we take a look at clips that I have make made longer, you'll see the possibility of recording them. If we record them, they will be automatically sent to my clips list. This way, I will be able to also select it and export it and either download, add to a selected playlist and to my library. You can also share these clips with any user you know for example, I'm going to choose Shane, who is today with us, and type any message, then send it to anyone you want. If we get into tools, we would start by talking about the advanced search. This is a tool created to easily nav navigate through performance and career data and be able to identify either talents or positions that we need to fill up on our team. You need, you can filter your search in any way you would like with more than a hundred researchable attributes, such as position, age, uh, an age range, uh, FG, uh, shots on target. You could choose any defensive attributes. Let's take a look. So let's access the advanced search tab from our tools. And what we're going to do is select Super Ethan League. And we're going to focus on our last calendar year. Remember that here you can set the filters such as age, for example, height. We're going to search for the total successful defensive actions, defensive deals, aerial deals, and interceptions. Once we have set those filters, you can now see that more filters are populating on the left-hand corner. I'm going to choose a position, which is going to be a left-back age. We're going to search for a young player and who is over 172. Then we're going to look for highly successful in defensive actions per game. 
for 90 minutes. Okay, we see how our search keeps getting littler and littler, more accurate. And we're going to ask to win 50 or more and then have more than 2.82 interceptions per game. If I come here, you'll be able to see that we can see a little heat map and a radar chart where we can take a look at exact stats. We could also access clips over here and have a little description of the player info. We could also access the player's profile or pin player. Okay. We can either select three of them, for example, and add them to a list creating a new one, for example, left back, superetan, add a description and decide who I want to share it with. We added three different players. If I want to only add this one, for example, Mamar, we can add him to a list, an existing one, for example, and confirm, and we can add him back to it. After talking about the advanced search, we must relate it to our player list. As we saw before, we created some lists where we can acquire talent and organize it in order to be able to list them and assess which players are more interesting and which one uh, will help us during the recruitment workflow. So if we come to our player list, we can see that I created two of them, the one we created before and another one. Let's take a look. From here, you could create a new list or take a look at the list I created or all lists that have been shared, okay? For example, my colleagues have created some and I could take a look at my own list. Let's take a look at it. So here I have different attackers, which I filtered on the Swedish league. Okay. So for example, at least we could show what is the important thing for us. We could compare them to, in order to take a look and be able to easily compare and see who has more shots on target percentage, for example, who does more touches in the box, okay, and classify them. If we go back to our list, we could select some people, some players, and remove them, okay? I'm gonna cancel it. As we said before in, in the advanced search, we can take a look at their position, their heat map, and their radar in order to take a deeper look into their stats. We could also add them to a new list, for example. So if I'm filtering over here and I want to keep that list with all the players, I could create second list attackers, for example. I could select if I want to share it with my team or not, and who can edit. This is interesting if a scout, for example, is looking at players during the first half of the of the season, and then he's going to share it to another colleague in order to change roles. This can be very interesting, or even to have different scouting zones and be able to work in different leagues or competitions. I'm going to keep it this way for the moment. So what I did now, we go back to our list. We can see that I have a new list where I only have Ofia, okay? If I go back to the list, I could go back and select any other players I would like to. So for example, if I take a look at this player who's interesting for me and I would like to add him, I could add him to a list, okay? 
Another way of searching or creating advanced searches is our tool called ranking. With ranking tool, we can compare hundreds of different attributes when it comes to players, such as goals, assists, expected goals, or similar. We can filter those goals and assists, for example, in much more detail. If we take a look at rankings, okay, we'll be able to search on a certain league. For example, I'm going to choose the Sweden Super Etan, okay, different season, but I'm going to choose uh, last season, 2022. We could decide to choose any game, okay. I'm going to try and search from the age of 16 to 30. And let's take a look at goals and assists. If we take a look at goals and assists, Oscar Peterson is the first rank with 26 all combined. Okay. And if we go to expected, expected goals and assists, he should have done 18.57. So it's a very big difference. If I'm only searching for goals, for example, I will be able to take a look that Oscar Peterson is ranked the third, as opposite to Granath. If we go back to goals and assists, Granath has only done one assist, which I could make sure over here where we cannot find him. Okay, so if I wanted to choose between both of them, I could also add them to any list, okay? For example, I could add him to the interesting attackers. I could also watch, as we said before, Raider and their heat map to see if it's interesting. I could also go to their profile, as we said before, from the platform and watch their events, their stats, or even their career. As we spoke before, we can take a look at players, but also see rankings for teams. So for example, if we go to attack, we can also take a look at different stats that we can take a look and see which teams are the best classified. Any clips that you find interesting can be curated and edited through Y Scout and then add it to a playlist from different sources. You then can edit them and paint them in order to explain concepts or players and then export them, download them, or send them via link to any other users you may like. So directly from our rankings tool that we used before, we could go to their profile, as we said before, and take a look at any positions they played or their heat map. If we go to their goals directly, we can select four of them, for example, and then click on export, okay? We can add the clips to a list and call it Sweden 2, for example. We are going to save it and then go to the best sections where we're going to select different clips and export them to an, an existing playlist. If we now go into our playlist and draw, we can, as before, with our list, we are going to be able to watch all playlists, which are made by me, my playlist, or shared with me. In this case, I don't have any playlists available here. But if I shared with a certain user, it would get it here. If we go to our playlist, we can select any list, any clip, sorry, and then we could easily add a comment. For example, nice move and display it over clip. We can select where to show it and then the direct the duration. 
Okay, so now we will be able to take a look. If we want to add a certain drawing, for example, you can see that we cannot overlap it with comments. If we now want to add that his move is very interesting, the penalty box, we can open the edit. Okay, can select the player, for example, and select the Europass and the movement, for example. We can save it and then we will have the option to record it and watch it. Okay. This is very useful in order to share directly from YS Scout with other different users. Okay. So we could do this, either order it and then save it. Okay. And from here, we could add more clips if we wanted to by searching a player. For example, Peterson, okay. And select new clips if we liked it, which is a very easy way, okay. Then what we could do is to share it from here. Okay, once we saved every detail, can come back and decide who to share it with. So, for example, I'm going to share it again with Shane, and we could talk about it. If we come here, we could send it. Okay, I'm not going to send it for the moment but you could send it from here. You could also download the playlist and select what you want to have high quality or standard, or if you don't want the audio, for example, and then start the download. Let's continue with Shadow Teams. Shadow Teams allows you to, instead of creating this, add players to certain positions you may need or may, may require any of talents you're searching for and would allow you to combine both your team to see which players or which positions you would need to reinforce and combine with certain players you find interesting. Let's take a look at a little demo and make it clearer for you. So now we are on all our shallow teams. You can see that I have a list with multiple different tests or list players on shadow teams that we need. Imagine I'm a scout for uh, the Super Etam Swedish League. Okay, so I created a little field where I can add any players and depending, for example, on their age, I can classify and add them with different colors. Imagine we are searching for players born from uh, 2000 onwards. I could easily tag him in red because we are not going to be able to transfer him or we could add players from this tab. If I want to add a player, I can easily search for him and then he will be added. Okay. I could easily remove them if I needed to. We can also right on the zoom on the field and decide if we want to have the picture the photo the age shown if it's important for it, for us or even the height for example we could hide the market value this is interesting and we could add for example players from our team if we wanted to, to in order to be able to compare and decide afterwards we could also switch to any different formation or go back to it to compare, okay? This would be easily shared by exporting it to a, C to a PDF file. 
Let's continue with, with our white skeleton area. I wanted to start talking about the skeleton area by quoting Francesco Totti as from a legend. During talent identification and players evaluation processes, we use white scout. He's only one of the big teams and agencies who uses white scout to work on a daily basis. How do we use scouting area? Scouting area is used in order to provide a refined search and adjust to your settings and your needs during the recruiting process. You can either create reports for players, games, or matches, and teams. Just remember that we get to the scouting area via our tools button. Let's create a new report. Here we can choose either a player report, match report, or team report. I will have to create a template. I'm going to choose the first one. And I'm going to search for a player. As we spoke before, I'm going to choose Oscar. And here we could choose the number of games we have watched. Let's imagine I have been following this player for the last five, six games, and this will link automatically a report with the games that have been played. We can choose which areas he used, and we have the basic information on his food, his weight, and his height. We can calculate the data, okay? and give notes to the players in order to compare them. We can compare them and say, he's a top quality player, sign, or star player, for example, okay? We could select any of these ones in order to have an exact filter for any player we are observing at the moment. We have a little summary of the games we watched in order to, to create this report. And then we could type pros and cons. Good finishing, for example. Not defending as cons. Okay. And then we could type the agent, the value, and when the contract expires, possible wage. And then we could go on to the reports we have from the games in order to have some basic information on that days. And when we come to the, to the last part of the report, we'll have the possibility to type any information we want Offensively, for example, off the ball, good finishing. We could also add a mark over here and then even attach a video. So, for example, if I go to Oscar Peterson, I could filter the clips, okay? If I go to my play playlist, for example, I could select the playlist and preview any clips. Imagine I'm searching for a player over here, and I want to select some goals because I think that's the most inter interesting perspective we have, and select that I don't have. I don't want the audio, for example, and then select. The video will be attached and I will be able to watch it instantly. Okay. Let's continue with our Wise Scout Penalties tool. This is a very useful tool and very useful due to the loads of information you can have 
imagine having the information about the type of shot the penalty taker is making, the run, the goalkeeper's reaction, or the match situation when analyzing penalties. You can also try to uh, watch any instance, and you'll also have a little schematic draw in 2D showing where the penalty was shot at and where the goalkeeper dived. This is very important when it comes to analyzing, analyzing and taking a look at penalties before games. You can also have the stats on goalkeepers. They are also tracked with accuracy to prepare for the next game and search for the next goalkeeping talent. You can use it for both ways. You can find reaction, dive directions, and much more. Type of shots they received and zones where they stopped more penalties or not. Let's continue with our set pieces app. Set pieces is very useful when it comes to analyzing every set pieces made by a team with a very easy format and easy filtering. You can filter either by phase, type, or outcome, and any other metrics. You can also select different overlays in order to explain every action and be clearer, such as a 2D scheme, event info, player heights, or the positioning frames. And it's very easy to share it with your staff or players. You can select when watching every instance or every event. You can select if you want to export it to your playlist. W once you have selected every, every instance or event you want, you can save it to your platform and share it in a few clicks. We must not forget that our mobile app also works on iOS and Android and will give you most of the powerful features into a complete mobile experience. This will be fully optimized. Nowadays, it's almost impossible to think about working without a phone, mobile phone and Scout provides that option. Before finishing our webinar, I would like to talk to you about some resources you can have, such as the web for Hado support, where you can see some tutorials that will help you. And uh, a very important page, which is the www.hado.com slash resources slash Scout, where you can find every piece of help you will need in order to transition do not forget that you can email us at support at haro.com and a very important tool could be Haro Academy where you can find new courses and experiences from coaches. That's all from my side. I'm going to hand in to Shane who is going to answer for some question that you may need. Thanks a lot. I hope you had a great time.